before all I used to do was wash my face, slap some moisturizer on and I was good to go. But unfortunately, hormones change. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Zara. Um, and on today's video, we're gonna be talking about skincare. Now, this is not something I have done before, so this is my first time discussing it. Um, but it's something I felt like I wanted to share with you because I figured there were probably other people out there who were in a similar position to me um, and have had issues struggling with it. Um, so I have been suffering with hormonal acne. Um, as a teenager, I was very lucky that I didn't suffer um, with acne. However, as an adult, um, roughly around two years ago, this changed. Um, and I really didn't know what to do. And my initial reaction, which is obviously not the right thing to do, was to squeeze them, um, which I really, really don't recommend doing. Um, but I just thought, you know, let's get it out and it will be gone. And that was how I used to deal with spots in the past if I occasionally got one. Um, however, these were not like the spots I have ever experienced in the past. These were very painful cysts that would be under the skin, particularly around my chin and around here. Um, and as fast as I get rid of one, another one would appear again. And I truly, truly, I, I didn't know what to do. And, you know, it got me quite down um, because I, I just had never experienced it. And I just, I just really didn't know what to do. So I tried multiple products, um, some of which didn't make any difference to my skin at all so they made it worse um but i'm going to share with you today the products that i found did work so first and foremost i always believe um wellness and beauty come from within so i did look at what i was eating was the things that i could take out um and the things that were going to aggravate it and um, so i tried to limit dairy for a start. I've never really been great with dairy since I was a kid. I used to have an intolerance to it and it used to give me eczema. Um, but as I uh, became an adult, I became a little bit more tolerant to it. Um, I wouldn't say I have a lot of dairy, but you know, occasionally I might have a pizza or I might have um, something that had cheese or a little bit of milk on it. But I wouldn't say I was a big dairy. Um, consumer but I thought probably best to cut back on that as I heard that that can make your acne worse. Um, limit sugar, um, again not a big sweet tooth lover but I, I did look at how much sugar I perhaps was consuming. Um, I also then started taking some supplements um, I've been taking Wellco's Super Elixir for many years and I've always found that it's a really great, um, really enhanced my well-being. and they launched a skincare, or not skincare, but they launched pills for your skin. And at first I was a bit skeptical, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I, at this point I thought I would try anything um, so I started to take them and I can say within a couple of days I noticed um, the feel of my skin not just on my face but on my body it was very soft because I actually have really dry skin I have to put so much moisturizer on so I don't have oily skin for a start and that includes on my face I don't have oily skin so going back to the supplements um, I started to take them and I noticed very quickly that they were making a difference to my skin and I would say they definitely did help with um, the acne that I was getting. So these are the ones that I take from Welco. I then was so impressed with them, I thought I was going to try 
these two to balance out my hormones now without giving too much information um i was suffering with irregular periods and i think my hormones were all over the place and within about a month or maybe two but it was about a month these really regulated my hormones um, and I started to have a more regular cycle. So they're just such fantastic products. And I've recently, this is, although this video is about my skin, I also started taking the hair ones recently and I have noticed that they are starting to thicken my hair a little bit. It feels a little fuller where I'd lost a bit of body in it um, and a little bit softer where I color my hair it got a little bit dry and I guess also from the hormones like where my hormones have changed my hair texture also had changed so again trying 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 not finding exactly what I wanted so I'm going to start with what I use in the morning so I use this um Omor Ro Rosica I'm going to say it wrong Okay, so let's try again. Omorovica. If I'm saying this wrong, I apologize now. It's not my intention to be rude. I just don't really know how to pronounce it. Um, this was recommended to me by a friend. Um, she said she thought I should try it. And so I gave it a go. Um, I normally don't like um, foaming cleansers, but this one is so gentle um, and it's really delicate. I, I, I can't fault this product. Um, I've actually ordered just another one recently where I love it so much. Um, next, uh, after I've washed my face in the morning, um, I will then apply their uh, vitamin C serum. Now they are expensive, these products, but I have to say, again, they're very good. This has just got a really lovely texture to it and it just, it just made my skin feel really good. Um, these are things that I did combined and the combined effort worked. Then this might be a bit of a shock, oh, shocker of a um, product after showing you really expensive ones. I use the L'Oreal Revitalift um, Hyaluronic Acid Eye Serum. I love this product. Uh, I find it great under my eyes. It really hydrates them. As I said, I've got really dry skin. Then my other shock product is Aldi's um, Lacura Caviar Day Cream. I love this stuff. It's amazing. The texture of it is beautiful. Um, and also I apply an SPF. Um, I quite like the Clarins uh, called UV Plus Anti-Pollution um, SPF in a 50. This one is in a rose. It has a slight tint to it. So um, it just gives you a nice glow. Um, so that's my morning routine. Then um, depending on my day, but if I've been wearing makeup, I will always double cleanse my face. So I will use this um, super facialist vitamin C skin renew cleansing oil to take my makeup off first then i wash that off then i've been using actually this product for a long time um for many many years and i always go back to it it's the dr hauschka cleansing milk which i absolutely love it's great with um dry skin then in the evening um i will alternate between these two products I either use the glycolic acid from The Ordinary, um, which helps exfoliate and has helped, um, you know, get some of the sort of debris out of the pores when they start to get blocked. So it will bring them to the surface before they turn into like a cystic acne. And another thing that happened, even when I cleared the spots up, was that I was left with really bad pigmentation um, and this has helped a little bit and then what I found which again is an expensive product but I really really found this worked is the Omor Rosica I hope I said it right Midnight Renewal which is a retinol you know, it has retinol in it 
a very light one it doesn't irritate my skin at all and i have visibly noticed that it has helped clear up the scarring and pigmentation that i was left with i will probably do the glycolic acid every other day and then in the days that i'm not using that i use the midnight renewal um, serum the next day make sure if you are using any of these products you put an SPF on your face as they are an acid and you don't want to cause damage to your skin in the sunlight. After I've done all that, I will use my Audi Lacura Caviar Illumination Night Cream again, another beautiful product. And on the occasion that I do get a spot, I use the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. I found this to be really good. So they're my main products that I use. And then this is where the game changer came. I bought, I invested in the Dr. Dennis Gross Facewear Pro DRX Spectralite mask. I was a bit skeptical to buy it because it is expensive, but a friend of mine had it and swore by it. I then spoke to my dermatologist and asked him what he thought of this and he was like no get it it's really money well spent and i have to say like my skin since i've been using it for the last month i haven't been using it that long it's just i don't know it's the texture of it is is so much nicer and I guess combined with the products too, like people have said, oh, your skin looks really good. It's glowing and it's cleared up and I'm really, really happy. And I've only kind of achieved this in the last probably eight weeks since doing this. I mean, the mask was sort of the cherry on the cake, but I was doing the other stuff slowly over time and kind of, you know, taking pieces out, trying something else, like the retinols, I kind of struggled with a bit because they did irritate my skin, but as I said, the Omar, Omar Rosica one um, didn't and was really great on my skin. Um, so it's, you know, it's a lot of products there, but you know, it worked. Before, all I used to do was wash my face, slap some moisturizer on and I was good to go. But unfortunately, hormones change. Um, you know, you have to start to take care of your skin a little bit more. And, you know, unfortunately you have to use more things. Um, I'd love to know what, you know, you recommend. Do you have any products that you used that have been really helpful? Um, to your skin if you've suffered a similar problem or if you're struggling like I was I hope that these might help you and I hope to see you very soon bye for now mm -hmm.